So here's a video I've been working on for a while. What's the deal with Bay Rum? Hey everyone, I'm Dave Earth Fragrance Bros, of course, best channel for everything fragrance related. Today I have a video on Bay Rum. Now, what is Bay Rum? I'm sure you've probably wondered that before. You probably haven't, but <laughs> I'd like to think that you have because I have really been thinking about Bay Rum a lot. Now, I was first introduced to Bay Rum um, about a couple of years ago when I did an aftershaves video. And I found that Bay Rum was a really popular aftershave. I smelled it and it smelled familiar, but I'd never heard of it. So this was a really strange phenomenon to smell something that smelled so familiar, but not knowing what it was. So I went down the rabbit hole. I went to some different aftershave companies and I really went to a little bit of the history here just to see what it was that I really liked here. Now I'm gonna go a little bit over the history just because I think it's interesting, but Bay Rum is an aftershave product and a lot of the aftershaves and fragrances that I'm gonna be showing to you today are from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements is a company that I really love and I've really kind of dived in headlong into their uh, product catalog in the last year. And I have really been impressed by everything they've made. Now they really specialize in Bay Rum products. So if you like Bay Rum, definitely check them out. But they have a whole slew of products that I think are great. The best soaps I've ever tried, the best shampoos I've ever tried. Of course they have aftershaves, of course they have shave soaps, and they have EDPs of everything. What I really like about them, they have scents of everything, and then you can buy all their products in those specific scents. So you can get the aftershave, the soap, the shampoo, and you can get EDP concentrations of everything they have here. They're stellar. They smell amazing. I'm gonna get into that in a little bit. But what is Bay Rum? So Bay Rum was found out uh, a couple of hundred years ago by sailors in the Caribbean. They found this West Indian Bay that was there was a great deodorant, a great natural deodorant because sailors don't get to bathe that often. But they found that that was really helpful for them. Later, they found out that they could extract the oils from this West Indian Bay with rum. And you can make a tincture of Bay Rum just by rum and West Indian Bay. Now, quick thing to mention that uh, West Indian Bay is different than Bay Laurel. Bay Laurel is the kind of spice that we're used to maybe in America with gumbo or crab boils or uh, that kind of thing, completely different. West Indian Bay smells more like clove. So these sailors found out that they could make a tincture and extract the oils from the West Indian Bay into rum. That right there is about 80% of what Bay Rum, the aftershave or the scent is now. To capitalize on this success, there were some companies out there that made their own Bay Rum from West Indian rum and of course the West Indian Bay. Some of these companies were companies like A.H. Reese, St. John's, which still makes their Bay Rum products today and Rexall, which I think was made during the Prohibition era and you could drink it apparently. I don't know. Do not drink Bay Rum right now, by the way, don't do it. What does Bay Rum smell like? Now, if you've smelled it, you already know, but if you're not familiar with Bay Rum, Bay Rum smells aromatic, smells spicy. Immediately you get hints of spice and clove, very strong clove note in there. Now the best types of Bay Rum don't have clove in them. Clove is often a skin irritant and I think clove can overwhelm the smell that already comes from the West Indian Bay. If you have the real deal, West Indian Bay, you don't need clove, but it naturally has a strong smell of clove and spice, very aromatic. As I said, it has a rum note in there. If it uses rum, you get notes of cinnamon, pepper, uh, citrus in there. It's really complex. And it's also very masculine, I find. I think part of the reason why I believe it's masculine is because our grandfathers used it. I've smelled this on older gentlemen before, but there's been a real resurgence of the Bay Rum smell, and I don't really find that it's old. I find that it's just that just kind of older style masculine that I really like and really resonate with. And even today, besides just aftershave and shaving companies, there are companies that are still inspired today by the smell of Bay Rum. One of those is Dior. One of the newer fragrances in the Dior private collection is Spice Blend. And Spice Blend is overtly inspired by Bay Rum. They even say it on their website. Now, I don't think that Spice Blend necessarily smells that much like Bay Rum, but you could definitely tell they get some inspiration there and they're kind of moving it in a Dior type of direction. And that reminds me of today's sponsor, Lolly. Lolly is a company that I have been really interested in because I am really big into cryptocurrency and I really like companies that give you free Bitcoin. <laughs> Lolly is one of them and sign up for Lolly and you can install that in your browser and you can get free Bitcoin every time you make a purchase on certain products. That's phenomenal. But with all of that said, let's get into some of the choices that I have from Bay Rum. I have a ton 
here from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Let's go ahead and get straight to it. So first bay rum that I'm going to be mentioning by Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements is Atomic Age Bay Rum. Now the owner, Douglas Smythe, is an admitted connoisseur of bay rum. And this Atomic Age Bay Rum is his kind of ode to bay rum. It's amazing. If you're familiar with bay rum at all, I think you'll really like this a lot. This one is aged in oak barrels, charred oak barrels. This one has zero clove. There's no clove. A lot of times clove will actually make your skin get red and irritate it. But this bay rum has no clove just because it already has a clove-like smell with the West Indian Bay. He also puts certain hydrosols in here, which hydrosols are a byproduct of the perfume making process. He puts those because they are great for your skin. So he puts West Indian Bay hydrosol, seaweed extract, liquid silk, and aloe vera in here as well. And of course, if you don't shave <laughs> or if you don't want the aftershave, they also have the EDP and it's fantastic as well. Smells exactly the same. This is the finest bay rum that I've ever smelled. It smells fantastic. The aging from the oak barrels actually imparts this really interesting vanilla-like overtone and smooths out a lot of the edges that you find typically with bay rum. So it's a really smooth smell overall. Next is Classico Bay Rum. As I mentioned, Classico Bay Rum is made with essential oils, and that is really the main difference here. Now, this one is not aged in the oak barrels, so there is going to be a difference in the scent. And with the essential oils, it's going to impart kind of a different flavor of bay rum as well. But I really like this one too. It is very classic as well. It smells very much in the bay rum family. To me, the biggest difference that I get out of this, I get a little bit more of a citrus pop and also black pepper. I get those two more than in the previous version with Atomic Age. But you still get a lot of the clove, you get a lot of the cinnamon, you get a lot of the herbal notes and the aromatic notes. It's still a fantastic bay rum. And if you wanted something with essential oils, I mean, this is your go-to. This is just fantastic. Next is Captain Smythe's Reserve Bay Rum and Leather Oak Barrel Aged. Now, Captain Smythe's Reserve Oak Barrel Aged Bay Rum and Leather <laughs> is a really long name, but it's fantastic. If you like bay rum, if you like leather scents, <laughs> this is just a winner. That You've got to try this. Of course, it has a lot of the same ingredients that the other ones do, uh, but this one is aged in oak barrels with leather and the leather really shines in this. You get a lot of leather in this, and the bay rum is kind of in the background, but is still present. I would say that the leather really comes forward in this, and you also get a good bit of the oak barrel. I'm not sure what happens here, but the leather brings out a really interesting character of the woodiness in here that I find really great. And if you want something that maybe is a little bit less spicy and less aromatic, but has that kind of bay rum flavor. I think this is your go-to here. I think the leather and the oak barrels in this, they add a really interesting texture and quality to bay rum, smooth it out, subdue it just a little bit. And I think it's a fantastic addition, but definitely check out this bay rum and leather, great. So those are the three kind of main staples of bay rum. If you want more of a traditional style bay rum, I think those are the three kind of best representations of what the traditional one is. But then he has more, which I'll get into in just a minute. Three other kind of flankers, and then he also has limited edition fragrances as well. So the first flanker of Bay Rum here is Boomtown Bay Rum. Boomtown Bay Rum is very much inspired by Tombstone, Arizona. Now, if you're putting two and two together, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements is in the Phoenix, Arizona area. So they're right in the Wild West area of the United States. And Boomtown Bay Rum is kind of an homage to that. This Bay Rum is also oak barrel aged. And the difference between this and the other ones is this one has added notes of gun smoke, leather, and some additional notes like elemy and labdanum. To me, right away, I get a smokier, flinty type of smell. I get that kind of gunpowder, gun smoke type of smell right away. It's still in the Bay Rum realm. It's still herbal and spicy, but I just get a little flinty, smoky thing on top. Pretty cool. I like this one a lot. Next is Coconut Bay with Lime, which is a coconut and lime bay rum. Coconut Bay with Lime is a really interesting take on bay rum, just because I would never put these two together, but it really works. One thing I've always found funny and kind of unique about bay rum is that it's considered kind of a tropical or island or beachy type of scent, even though I don't really get that association at all. To me, it really reminds me more of holidays or winter or that type of thing, but it did come from the Caribbean. So adding coconut and lime to this really adds an even more kind of beachy Caribbean type of flavor, and it really works. The coconut really shines in this and comes through really strong. To me, it smells like kind of fresh, chopped up coconut 
almost like coconut pie. The lime is in there and it kind of lifts the fragrance up and definitely the bay rum is in there as well. But I get almost a coconut pie with lime type of thing. I love how beachy this smells. It smells like a vacation. It's really great. So definitely check this one out. And for all you pineapple fans out there, yes, pineapple bay rum. Pineapple bay rum is another unlikely kind of flanker here. And the pineapple adds a certain kind of citrusy, sweet bite to this bay rum that I think smells great. Bay rum naturally has some kind of citrusy elements in the blend, but typically they're kind of just our supporting agents. They don't really shine. They kind of get overwhelmed by the more herbal or spicy flavors of bay rum. But this pineapple bay rum really moves the citrus to the forefront and it smells great. If you're a fan of pineapple, I mean, you're gonna try this. <laughs> There are also seasonal and limited releases of certain Bay Rum flavors that he has, and these are all fantastic. I think all the limited editions are really worth snagging right away if you like them at all. I think they're amazing. First is Atomic Pumpkin Bay Rum, which is, yeah, pumpkin and Bay Rum. And this is sold around October, November in the fall season, obviously. Atomic Pumpkin is a real winner, and if you like Bay Rum, Atomic Pumpkin is one that you just have to get. If you like pumpkin, if you like pumpkin pie, then this is amazing. The flavor profile of pumpkin pie and Bay Rum share a lot in common. So really, it was kind of a no-brainer putting pumpkin with Bay Rum to start with. It really smells like pumpkin and Bay Rum together, and it really works. It's so edible and rich and sweet. I love it. It's one of my favorites. As of right now, it's not available, but definitely check out in the fall because they'll bring this back for sure. It's a really popular scent for them. Next is the shaving, which doesn't sound like a Bay Rum, but it is a butter Bay Rum. <laughs> and this is phenomenal. Now the shaving is another limited release that was limited for Cyber Monday. This is one of those fragrances that I think is another one that is phenomenal from them. This is a butter bay rum that smells like cookies and cookie dough, toffee and butterscotch, butter rum. It's a butter bay rum. It's phenomenal. So edible and yummy. It is great. This is one I just got. So the footage on this is a little bit different, but um, yeah, it's really great. If you can find the shaving, you're gonna love it. It's phenomenal. Next is Space Nog, and yeah, this is an eggnog bay rum. <laughs> Space Nog is sold around the Christmas season in December, so definitely snag it up if you like eggnog especially. Of course, Space Nog is based on eggnog. Some of the notes in this are brown sugar, nutmeg, vanilla, cinnamon, and of course the normal bay rum stuff. If you like eggnog like me, then you're going to love this. It smells just like that. It smells like an ice cream eggnog-like flavor. It is wonderful. Again, this is another release where the flavors kind of overlap each other. Eggnog has a lot of the same spices that bay rum does, so they go really well together. And in this, it's great. You get a lot of the eggnog smell, but you also get a lot of the bay rum smell. It's phenomenal. Another one of my favorites. I love this. Of course, I love gourmands in general, and this is one that I just adore. I love it. Space Knock. Go get it. And last but not least is Kariti Mati, and this one is um, another one that is seasonal around the Christmas season. This has frankincense and myrrh with West Indian Bay, of course. Kariti Mati is another one that is a seasonal release. And from the notes, you see that it's made with frankincense, myrrh, and West Indian Bay. It's got a little West Indian Bay leaf in there. You can shake it up and you can look and see what's inside. Some other notes in this are toasted oak, ambergris, benzoin, blue spruce, tobacco, labdanum, and lavender. It is fantastic. I love frankincense and myrrh in general. And this one is truly, truly great. It's so smooth, warm, aromatic, spicy, and I love its connection with the Christmas story and all that, I really truly think it's spectacular. To me, this is also very masculine and manly, and uh, that's another thing that I think really appeals to me. And is oak barrel aged, which kind of adds to that smoothness that it has. I mean, it's just great. Go get it. So that's all I have. I know I say that's it. There's a lot here with Bay Rum. <laughs> Definitely go and check out Phoenix Arizona Accoutrements down below. And of course, also go to Lolly and sign up for Lolly and you can install that in your browser and you can get free Bitcoin every time you make a purchase on certain products. That's phenomenal. I love Bay Rum and I really love what Phoenix Arizona Accoutrements is doing. Definitely check them out. I think this is just another one of those waves and I'm excited to be on the wave of this one. This is a really good one. I really like Bay Rum a lot. Definitely check it out. With that, of course, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. I love you for it. I'll see you next time. I'm Dave with the Fragrance Bros. Bye.